Hello everybody, I'm here with a Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. Um, the lady said that she thinks she put her timing out. No, timing wasn't out. What happened was, let's go through this little baggie of fun. She had, see how much thread that was, some of it was wrapped around up in here. And some of it was wrapped down here. And it was causing the feed dogs to get intertwined with it and couldn't get out. So there was some more. And then for some reason I found a stink bug. She, I told her about it. I said, um, oh, looky, I found a dead stink bug. <laughs> anyway, she said, man, those things are everywhere. That's what she said. But anyway, and then I found some little dust bunnies and things that are just, you know, collecting in weird places. And then just a lot of that thread. My goodness, look at that thread. That is a lot of thread. At least she didn't have any metal in it, I don't think. No, it was just dust bunnies, a bug, and a bunch of thread that was wrapped. So it took me a while to get all that out. I was real happy I got it out. And she did bring me the book. I didn't really have to read it because I've seen one of these before. I actually had one up and running and fixed for a lady until somehow she dropped it in the back of her car. She was going to put it in her trunk, and when she picked it up, she slipped out of her hands, and it fell, and it broke the whole bottom section out, and the machine wouldn't work no more. And she was all upset, and she said, well, now it's yours. <laughs> I said, there was a, why is it mine? It's broken because I decided that I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Just something simpler. <laughs> this is getting too crazy. And I ain't going to miss this thing, she said to me. Anyway, but if you have one of these, I'd like to hear from you. Um, so far, I learned a little bit about it. I mean, I understand what all these little buttons do. Some of them I'm kind of confused with. I didn't read the books. I thought, oh man, I'm so sleepy. I'm barely staying awake. So I thought, well, let's just go over the machine a little bit. And it's a really nice machine. Um, this one, you, I mean, she has a new spool in it, but it's you thread it from the back. I just think threading it from the back is the best way to go. And then what you do is you go through this little thing here. You go around this up here. Usually, I think it has little arrows, but they're done in white and they're hard to see. And you go this way, around this little doodad, down this way. Okay? And then around here. Um, you would put your feed dogs up, but if I do, that thing turns red and it beeps at me. So I don't like it. So, you know, you would put this up. It wouldn't be turn on. You wouldn't have to turn it on. But anyway, and this goes around, goes up here, down this way, around this way. Now, somehow there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's self-adjusting. There's no tension to adjust because it adjusts itself. The computer does it all. And you can see all the hookups in there. So I cleaned all the sensors. Sensors were so dirty and nasty. I couldn't even tell where they were at <laughs> until I cleaned it off and said, oh, those are bad. Anyway, then this goes down here. And it hooks in here. And yes, my needle's down. I guess this is how you bring a needle up. You hit Mr. Turtle here and you, it comes up. Okay? And then you thread it into the needle. Okay? And I always like the white flash in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I go close enough. And when you see the white, you can actually see the hole of the needle and it goes in a lot easier. Now, um, a lot of people have these threaders. I don't really use a threader. I mean, since I got my eyes fixed and now they look, I can see everything in such detail. I'm like, oh, thank the Lord. I feel like I have brand new eyes. Weird. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, but there's a way to thread this. My son loves them. I don't know how to use them. They get me so more confused than it's worth. Um, this one here is a bottom feed. It feeds from the bottom. So all you have to do is drop it in. What they call this is a drop-in top feed, okay? And you drop it in and you put, pull it, the thread back here. There's like a little V here. And you go this, oh, sorry, goes this way. You pull it this way and then you go around this way. And then you leave a little... Leave a little bit out. I always hand bring it through. It doesn't need that. It actually bring it through automatically, but I still do that. I was playing. I uh, did a couple arrows and hearts, and then I did some hearts, and then I put jar. Uh, I can't help myself. Then I did some zigzag. I wanted to make sure it was stitching properly, and it's doing its job. And um, let's see, this re um, to rewind a bobbin. You would thread it here, and I think, let's see. I think you go this way, and then you come back this direction, crisscross under this way to the bobbin, and then you click it. And then somehow, I guess this one, if it's like mine, will rewind it itself. You don't have to push the pedal. Um, so that's really kind of cool. I don't have a singer. I have a brother. But it's okay. It still works, and whatever you can do. I mean, you can do all these cool stitches. I went through the whole thing to see if the whole thing would work, and it does. And I just picked out a few random little stitches, and here's them. 
lettering and stuff like that. So I just thought, well, I'm just going to dry some lettering. And so I did a lot of different things. And that's what I did here. I was just experimenting with it, making sure the machine is going to run properly. Because I don't want to give a machine to somebody and it only does straight stitch and zigzag. And that wouldn't be very nice. So I wanted to make sure it still was working. So right now we have it in the center position, which is in the center of the where the foot area is at. And we're going to stitch. I had it over here, but over here, but it was too small. And I went to the middle. And then there's another one. I guess it makes even wider stitches and it backs up for you. And this one will back up. The backup button is this. This is the start button if you don't want to use your pedal. And it does have scissors, but I think the scissors have an issue. It's like they don't want to fold back like they're supposed to. So that's something she needs to look into before she uses it because... I think that's what was stopping the whole sewing thing. The scissors came out to snip, but they didn't go back. And so, and they're not attached to the computer. So it's like, it's like, it's, well, this part is, but the part that we supposed to retrieve it did not go back. So I got to make sure I mention this to her. Um, I don't know how to fix that. That's something that she needs to take it to a tech because if this button is not relating to pulling this back, then there's something wrong with the scissors itself. Anyway, so let's go ahead and hear how this machine sounds. Yeah, it's sewing nice. Like this. And then if you want to back it up just for the fun of backing it up, you can hit it once and you can back it up or you can hit it again and back it up. And then you can go forward. Like this. And then you want to pick that up. You hit Mr. Turtle here and that holds it back up. Now you're going to open this up. See how that light comes on? Oh, I didn't even beep this time. Hmm. Anyway, there's the stitching, and then stitching on this side, and your backup is right here. I don't know if you guys see that backup. And, uh, but other than that, the machine is, she's going to pick it up tomorrow afternoon, because I had tomorrow morning already scheduled for somebody else to bring in a sewing machine that somehow she wrapped a whole bunch of stuff around her bobbin area. And it's a singer, and it's an old-fashioned one. I did a video on that one a long time ago, and she has said that she needs help. She can't. She thinks the timing is off. Well, there's no way to unset the timing unless you unhook the main source. And I don't think it's the timing. I think it's it's just so wrapped up around it, it needs help to get it all out. And then I just reset everything. And then the timing is actually the the plate. That's The plate has to hold the timing in. I can't imagine the timing completely coming out unless she's unscrewed something. Oh, Lord, that would be terrible. Anyway, but this one, it works really well. I mean, I guess we could do another stitch. All right, let's see. Up here it says right here, okay, you want to push this button to do another stitch. So we're going to do that. We'll push a button. Then you have all these cool stitches. And if you want to keep moving, I don't know if you guys see that. And you keep moving, you go like this and you get more, okay? I was trying to think, where is that one at that I like so much? I think it's nine. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> it might not be. It might just be a plain zigzag. We'll see. No, that's a plain zigzag. Okay. I want the other one. Okay, let's pull this back up. Okay. Oh, no, I did the but back the button. <laughs> oh, any one of these days I'm going to remember. And then you hit this button again down here like that, and it brings this back up. And then you want to keep moving it. I can't remember. There's this one I like to do. Where's 12? Um, Is that the one? I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's see what else I have. There should be one that's called intermitting. Uh, yeah, that's intermitting. Okay, that's 12. So we hit 12. Okay, this should be the one I like so much. The one that makes that really cool zigzag. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, yay, I found it. That's what I wanted to do earlier, and I couldn't find it. So <laughs> I should have looked at the chart. It shows me it's intermittent. What it means is it means it does the zigzag instead of one strip over to the other. This is an intermitting one, so it's, not, it's so much better. Okay, now I'm going to pull this up. Which one? There it is. I don't want to do backup. <laughs> then you poke this up. Where's that thing at? There it is. And that's the one I like so much. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So she is coming to pick up her sewing machine tomorrow. And I'm happy that I have this thing running. Let's see what else I want to do. Um, oh, let's see. Then you have this one here. Um, and you have to hit it twice to get to the alphabet. And I don't really want to do anything else. Unless there's sc um, scallop might be interesting. Yeah, this one, number one. Oh, no, nope, got to clear it. Forgot to, I forgot to clear it. 
Okay, then you hit number one. Okay, this will be interesting. Let's watch this one. Um, this one's supposed to be a scallop, so let's do a scallop. I'm going over top of my zigzagging because I pulled it back too far. Bad me, huh? I know, this is a long process, but hey, you know, it works. I'm going to just do two scallops. Here comes another one. I don't know if you guys can really see this. It's really hard to tell. I mean, I'm trying to get up over it. It's not going to show you everything. But it's just going to show me two scallops, and then I'm going to do a straight stitch. I have to clear it. Okay, whoa, that's enough. Okay, pull this up, and then um, clear it. You hit the clear button to clear that off the screen. Let's go to number one to what's one number one of one of the things we do mm -hmm. and i'll show you the scallop in a minute all right let's leave that down there i don't know if i can do this or not turn this around there's our scallop that looks cool it went over top of my zigzag but it's okay let's keep going and then i'm going to center this and then stop the video all right let's keep going let's stop there and then this one up here, and that way I can have it already set for her to pick it up. And she's going to be so excited to have her machine back. She was a, ref, uh, a referral from someone else that had their machine fixed. There we go, all done. And then when you're done, you want to close this to keep it from getting too dusty. And the turn off button here and the turn on button is here. And it turns off and it's ready for pickup. I'm just going to wipe out the top around the machine and disinfect it and all before that lady gets here. So I hope you guys learned something from this. I don't know if you did, but if you did, try to share or talk about it. If you found one in a store or I got it handed down by somebody or just want to talk to me about your sewing machine, I would love to hear from you, okay? Um, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.